guys. Oh my gosh, it's been legs. Y'all, I'm really excited to be back in front of the camera. I actually have not recorded a video since last Thursday, I think. Um, just, I've had like a super busy weekend. Also, one thing I haven't really mentioned, but I am engaged. So I've actually been planning my wedding with my fiance. Well, we actually decided we're gonna do like a private elopement and then we're gonna have like a couple of different ceremonies just cause we both have family that's like everywhere. Uh, some family outside the country. So it's just a lot easier to do like a small elopement, a private elopement, and then kind of have ceremonies for like our respective families in different places. But even planning that has been a very long time. I have a Puerto Rico trip coming up for my birthday in like three weeks. And then I also have, we are going to go to Honduras. And there's just so many other things in the works being planned. In addition to the fact that I started a new project that actually is taking up like a lot of my time every day so I'm sorry all of that to say I am very very sorry for not uploading in a long time there has been some tea so I want to just have a tea with Lex video today um because I want to I like girl we need to talk we need to talk y'all we need to talk but first I want to say thank you very 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 much to every single one of you that is always showing love. At the time of filming this, I believe I'm three subscribers away from 400, which is insane. Just to remind you guys, I started my YouTube channel on February 13th. It is April 1st. So it's been a, just over a month and a half that I started my channel and I already have almost 400 subscribers like you guys i don't know i heard so many horror stories of like people taking years on youtube and like i'm not saying i'm a big channel or anything but people were like girl don't be discouraged if you only have like 100 subscribers for like two years so it's just i don't know it feels insane to me that like you guys are vibing with the videos you're vibing with me honestly youtube has been such a great outlet like I don't know I'm not saying IRL I have like nobody to talk to about reality tv shows and celebrity news but I feel like this is stuff that I could go on about all day so to be able to connect with you guys is phenomenal my dream is to be in commentary because you know I did go to school for journalism and my dream is to be in commentary whether it's here on YouTube whether YouTube leads to something bigger that is my ultimate goal and my ultimate dream so thank you guys so much for supporting the channel if you haven't liked share commented and subscribed please do all of it really helps my channel like if you're watching this and you like it it is absolutely free to hit subscribe it is free i'm not girl i haven't shilled no patreon on this channel i haven't asked y'all to donate me money nothing it is completely free. So please, 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 please hit that like button if you like the videos, please. It will really help me. Um, and it just gets this little channel off the ground. It motivates me to keep creating. I'm creating, I'm pumping out content. I'm getting y'all like three to four videos a week. So <laughs> no, but seriously, so much love to all of you guys that support me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and let's get into it. So we got a few stories today. The first story is the Beyonce vinyl and CD scandal. Streets are saying that Cowboy Carter is an incomplete vinyl and I could not be more heartbroken over this because I have just been loving this album. I truly think it's one of the most cohesive albums I've ever heard. Like every interlude is perfect. Every, every feature is intentional. And so to have songs like Spaghetti, Flamenco, The Linda Martell Show, Yaya and Oh Louisiana not on the vinyls that just like hurts like it just i don't know something about that just like feels so incomplete and i think we'll feel it definitely listening to cowboy carter on vinyl like i think it's just gonna have such a different vibe um i can't be the only person that like is annoyed by this because like right like vinyl collectors let me know in the comments like does stuff like this just like really annoy you like i don't know it makes me not want to like pre-order vinyl and like get things before I know what's on it because like, and I bought three of them. So like I have three incomplete vinyl. So 
I don't know. I mean, I'm still excited to have it and, like, have the physical copy of it, but I just, like, don't love that there are crucial songs missing. And to me, like, I would just rather, like, wait an extra one or two months to have, like, a fully complete vinyl, like, delivered and, like, ready than, like, have songs missing, right? Like, that to me just seems so much better. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, girl, I got me a Beyonce. I, I have Cowboy Carter. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, here's the deal. People started realizing that the physical copies of Beyonce's albums are a little wonky. Both the vinyl and the CD are not only missing songs, but have some interesting cover art. I'm gonna let y'all take a look-see at this. Let me, please focus. What does that say? Act two, Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. What does that say? Uh oh, I don't think my camera's gonna focus on this one. It's not gonna focus. It says, and two, Beyonce. The CD is in, my, is in my car. It's in the car, so I don't have it here. What does this say? This insert? Beyonce. Beyonce. So, the Reddit sleuths were out of control. They were like, first off, why does the album's artwork say Beyonce? Nowhere on here does it say Cowboy Carter. Now, some people said that their box, like the box it came in, doesn't even say Cowboy Carter either. They just had a sticker on it. Mine does say Car Cowboy Carter, and it's not a sticker. Like, this is the actual printed box, and it does say Cowboy Carter on it. But... The album artwork is different. The other thing with these albums, the vinyl and the CD, is they are each missing five songs. Let me make sure I pull it up. The songs that are missing from the vinyl are Flamenco, O Louisiana, The Linda Martell Show, Spaghetti, and Yaya. The CD is, has, is, has Flamenco, but it's still missing those four songs. So, we're all in an uproar. Girl, I'm on the Beyonce subreddit like, what the F is going on, B? Because not only do these have completely different artwork, like it's clear that there was a last minute name change, but where are the songs? Where are the songs? People are really outraged about this right now where, and I get it, because if you bought a vinyl, there are some people that bought like three or four box sets because there was two different shirts uh, I did get the shirt, the red version. It's not here right now. But um, some people bought like two or three box sets and two or three vinyls. And for them to not have songs is kind of crazy. The other big thing about the albums is that she had also teased a bonus song. Now, supposedly people were under the impression that the bonus song was going to be, uh, I forgot, but it was supposed to be with Destiny's Child, one of the songs was supposed to be with Destiny's Child. Um, now people are trying to run it back and say, well, Flamenco is the bonus CD song because that's not on the vinyl. Uh, here's my thing about this, right? I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to be calling my credit card for no chargeback. I'm not going to be boycotting Beyonce's site. I do think that this deceptive marketing is not fair. A lot of people are speculating. However, I think the reality is this. I think that Beyonce was going to call the album Beyonce. And I think that this album that is on the vinyls and on the CDs was the original album. I think when she released 16 Carriages and Texas Hold'em that she realized whoa, people are loving Country B. Everybody was like, it's going to be a country album. It's going to be a country album. It's going to be a country album. And Beyonce was like, oh, sh mm, y'all are into that? And she did a last minute name change and added a couple of extra checks that she probably had in the vault. I literally think that's what happened. I don't think it's any more than that. But I will say that I don't love when artists do this kind of thing. I mean, Taylor Swift did it with Midnight. Uh, apparently, I think it was Arca or um, Bjork. One of the two of them also supposedly did this uh, recently. And Nikki. Nikki's physical versions had 
11 songs and the actual version has 22, the, the digital. So I, I think the thing is, that I do stand that look. If Beyonce had said like, this is an exclusive edition, like if she had even just marketed this as an exclusive edition of the album, but then released the full versions, I don't think anybody would have been upset. And I think I agree that I think what should have happened, right, is you release the official real version in like a couple of months. Because that's what people are looking for. Yaya and Spaghetti are arguably people's like favorite tracks. Not mine. I'm talking about mine. So go watch my last Team with Lex video if you didn't do that. But I think that for some tracks like that, tracks that are so pivotal to this album, tracks that are literally people's faves, it's just not fair to do this um, to people. I think, you know, she could have waited. I understand that she really wanted to get it out, get the merch out. Like, the hype is high. But I don't think the hype would have been lesser if they waited one month, two months, what, however many months to just print new vinyls and then send those off and then release these as exclusive editions. Girl, I think everybody would have been so with it if she had said exclusive like cover art, you know, exclusive edition. It's the fact that she tried to release these first as the official edition without saying anything. It's like the little deception of it all. And I love Be Down, but the fans that are like, well, she never said it. It's like, girl, you can't release a full version of the album on digital and then release some other version. Because also there's a couple of songs on the album that are mislabeled. Uh, my, what is that song called? My Rose, My Love. Uh, girl, you know, I don't know the track list yet. Like that, like that. But that song is is said as My Sir. Like the name of it, when you play it on your car or whatever, it says My Sir. It's just like, what? What is that? What is the actual name of that song? So y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. My Rose, yeah. My Rose says... Mr. Sir, when you play it, which is like, girl, what? And then on Jolene, there's like a very clear and distinct like male voice. Like it's clearly like a, like a feature, right? It's like a clear male voice in the last, in the last verse. I don't know if she mixed it differently in the final cut, but it's clear that this album that we got was a rough cut right? They sent out rough cuts of the album. And I, I, again, I literally would not be surprised that the day Beyonce announced the name was Cowboy Carter. Because remember, she didn't announce that until like a couple of weeks before the album actually dropped. The name is Cowboy Carter. It was just Act 2. And she said Act 2, 329. That was it. There was no name announced. So I do think that she literally at the last minute was like, oh, they're into that country-ish. Let's make it Cowboy Carter. Anywho, that's all I have to say on that. But, you know, I do own an album, you know, so I feel like I could chime in a little bit. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not as torn up as other people are. I'm going to keep it real. I'm not as torn up as other people are. But I don't agree that artists should do this. Next, Kate Middleton. Getty Images is providing additional context about Kate Middleton's video sharing her cancer diagnosis. After the Princess of Wales announced her cancer diagnosis in a recorded message, the media company has added an editor's note to the video, saying, quote, This handout clip was provided by a third-party organization and may not adhere to Getty Images' editorial policy. Additionally, Getty Images tells E! News, quote, Getty Images includes a standard editor's note to hand out content provided by third-party organizations. E! News has reached out to Kensington Palace for comment, but has not yet heard back. The Palace previously shared that BBC Studios filmed the video of Kate on March 20th. Two days later, Her Royal Highness revealed her cancer diagnosis to the world. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy 
and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. A palace spokesperson says that the princess, who shares kids Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis with husband Prince William, quote, wanted to share this information when she and the prince felt it was right for them as a family. Before the video announcement, the Princess of Wales had been keeping mostly private since her surgery. However, a photo of her and her children that was shared on Mother's Day in the UK was pulled from photo agencies, with the Associated Press noting the image appeared to have been manipulated. Kate addressed the picture after it gained attention, writing on X, formerly known as Twitter, on March 11th, quote, Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. We gotta talk about Kate. And I ain't gonna hold y'all. I, I told my fiance like last week, cause he was asking me like, you gonna make another like update video on Kate Middleton? And I'm like, nah, like I don't wanna speculate on this lady's cancer announcement. Like it just feels like I made a short about it, just reporting the news. But I was like, I don't think I wanna report on this lady's cancer announcement, but girl, we gotta, we gotta report. So first and first things first, Kate Middleton did not show up at Easter. She was not there. And neither was William, and neither were the kids. Something is not right. Something is not right. Something is literally not right. King Charles was there. That man has cancer. He is also going through chemo. And it's crazy because they told us she was returning on Easter. And she's nowhere to be found. It's not looking good. But the fold thickens. <sighs> so, Kate Middleton's cancer announcement video was flagged with an editor's note by Getty Images. Getty Images, a very official website. You know, Getty Images be the one, remember when they would put out pictures of like the Kardashians and you would see their real faces? Because Getty Images doesn't play. Getty Images is like, is, is like AP. They're not playing. They're not putting out doctored photographs. So they actually flagged Kate's video saying this. They added a media, uh, they added an editor's note, sorry. So this handout clip was provided by a third party organization, the message read, and may not adhere to Getty Images editorial policy. As for why Getty Images flagged the clip, the company told E, this is an E News report, it includes a standard editor's note to hand out content provided by third party organizations. Y'all. What is going on with this woman? What is going on with this woman? I'm, I'm gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. Her not showing up at Easter for me is really making me like, some, is she, like, I don't know. There's like a severity to it that something ain't right, right? Because that was the big thing that she was gonna show up at Easter. She was gonna show up at Easter. She was gonna show up at Easter. She was not there. The kids were not there. William was not there. The fact that the palace cannot produce this woman in person. We cannot get one real image of her. Not one. Not one real image of this woman. They have gone through hoops and hurdles. They've put out body doubles that don't even look like her. They've put fake people in cars, fake photos, fake videos. The fact that the palace will not produce this woman in person, something ain't right. Something ain't right, y'all. Something is really, really, really not right. And I, I, the thing is, I hope she's okay. 
Because there is a real strong reason why they cannot produce this woman in person. No matter how hard they try. Any other celebrity, any other public facing figure, if they were going through all this, would come out on a press conference, come out on a video and say, hey, it's me. I'm here. Thank you. The fact that they cannot produce this lady in person. I ain't gonna hold you. It's giving me a weird feeling. So, and I'm not a royal person, like a royal girly. They ain't my royals. That the, the royal family, that ain't my jam at all. <laughs> it ain't my jam at all. But the this is giving me like a weird feeling in my body when I talk about it because I'm like, they cannot produce this woman in person for the life of them. I don't know. If that don't make y'all feel weird, it definitely makes me feel weird. So, I don't know what's going on with Kay Middleton. I don't know what's going on. I have a feeling that we're going to get some kind of announcement in a couple of months. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there because they will not produce this woman. No matter what, they cannot for a reason. There's a reason why they cannot give us a real photo or video of her. And whenever they're ready to announce the real news, we're all waiting. The whole world is waiting. Anywho, last story for today, Lizzo. Lizzo, miss, I make my dancers, you know, eat bananas out my Lizzo. Um, she says she's quitting music. Uh, Lizzo put out a post yesterday uh, on Instagram. And she said, I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. Now, she didn't really clarify what's going on, what she exactly meant, but she keeps going. I'm tired of, or I'm getting tired of putting up with being dragged by everyone in my life and on the internet. Her post comes, this is a BBC article. Her post comes a day after a lawyer representing her former dancers criticized the decision to choose the pop star to headline a fundraising event amid accusations made against her last year. She keeps on going. All I want is to make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how I found it. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me in it. She says she's constantly up against lies, which are being told about her for clout and views. She felt that she was the butt of the joke every single time because of how she looks and that her character was being picked apart by people who don't know her. I didn't sign up for this. I quit. Now, y'all might not like me for this. Y'all might not like me for this. Y'all really might not like me for this. But first of all, I think this is giving very, let's play the world's smallest violin. Second of all, I don't believe the reason that Lizzo has gotten the reception she's gotten in the public is because of the way she looks. I don't. I don't. I don't at all. I think we've seen some of the stunts that Lizzo played. And I think automatically people decided to say, oh, it's because of her size. It's because of this. There are plenty of bigger, bigger women out there that are beautiful and well respected in the industry. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying for the record that as a woman, you should have to cover your body or do anything. But at the same time, if you're at a basketball game with your ass out playing the flu, people aren't going to look at you that well. Now, can we acknowledge misogyno war in that? Absolutely. Is there probably some degree of fat phobia? Absolutely. But I don't think those are the reasons why this happened. I think any artist performing 
at a game, any woman, at least, would get that same reception. I do. I think when it comes to Lizzo, first and foremost, girl, you have essay allegations against you. And you have multiple of your employees and dancers coming forward about those essay allegations. That alone already takes my acceptance level or my empathy level down to here because you treat people like garbage. You can't whine and complain that the world treats you like garbage when you treat people like garbage. But number two, I don't really understand what lot like I don't really understand it's just interesting to me it's just interesting to me Yo, I swear to god that train goes by every time I'm recording anyway um it's just interesting to me because I also feel that as a person Lizzo made her identity being a certain type of person and again, I'm not saying that that denies that there are people that are harsh and that are mean to her. But again, I don't think being a bigger woman is the reason why Lizzo has gotten picked apart. I think it's the tasteless actions. And if we're being honest, okay, yeah, people said a lot about her ass being out at that game. But I think the heat really started to come on her after the allegations especially when you frame yourself as a body posy loving you know whatever and then those allegations come out sis that's why people don't like you it's not because you're a bigger woman we love danielle brooks we love gabrie sidibe sidibe i don't i don't know if i said her name right we love them i'm not gonna deny that being bigger Makes it harder. Girl, I'm not skinny. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm not skinny. For the record. You don't know, before anybody try to come in the comments like, girl, I'm not skinny. Whatsoever. So I'm not going to deny that. I, I, I will be honest. I don't think in my life it has affected me because I choose to align myself with certain people, but I'm not trying to be a celebrity. But I understand as a black, dark-skinned, bigger woman do i think that lizzo has had a hard journey yeah but lizzo is the top girl how you gonna complain you are literally at the top you tanked your career with the way you treat your people what's done in the dark always comes to light i'm sorry i don't feel bad i think lizzo got a stank attitude man but that's just me um but lizzo's quitting music Maybe it's for the best. That's it. That's all I got, y'all. Um, I hope to have out another couple of videos. I definitely will do at least one to two more videos this week. But I am taking a little trip to Philly on Friday. Just like a quick little one-day trip to Philly to go to an event. So I will be busy because I have to work all day Friday. And then straight from work, go to Philly. So that's going to be that. And then... So I'm going to definitely try to get some recording done after work every day and hopefully have those videos up for you guys. But thank you for your patience. I still am working it out because I, I plan to work on this channel full time too. I'm, I'm just going to have multiple jobs, girl. Um, but thank you guys so much for supporting me. If you love this video, if you love the content, if you support me, please, 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 please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you like, if you are watching the videos and you already subscribed, please interact, please engage. You can comment anything, anything. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I don't care if you disagree, by the way, as long as you're not being rude, because then I'll just block you. But we can have discourse like you could totally disagree with me. But like if you are here, please engage with the videos. And if not, if you're watching them, you know, I can see in my analytics when y'all are searching me and you're not subscribing. And some of y'all, I ain't gonna, you know, but some of y'all are searching my name every time, watching the videos, but you're not subscribing still. So please hit that subscribe. It would make me feel really great. Honestly, I've been feeling not the hottest in my personal life. I might make like a life update video just talking about 
this period of my life because I'm going through like one of those weird transitions where like everything feels wrong in my life. <laughs> um, but I did finally like find like a home church that I think I'm really gonna like anyway. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you, bye! <laughs>